What's good people, it's Jay Cactus back with another tutorial by request. Quite a lot of people have been asking me how to automate an FL. So I'm gonna show you some easy ways to do it, some more advanced techniques, and just explain a few tips for when you're automating as well. It's usually things that I use in my beats. So I won't waste any time with this one. I'm gonna try to keep it short and we'll jump straight into it. All right, so automation is basically changing the value of something over time or performing a certain task automatically. So I'm gonna show you a few ways to do it. The easiest way is, let's say for example, you wanted to fade the track out. So we obviously need to automate the volume. So I'm gonna to come to the mixer here and I wanna automate the volume of everything. So I'm gonna use the master. So I'm gonna right click here and then select create automation clip. And now what that's done is created an automation clip in the playlist. So a little tip here is to always copy the value of the, the normal one that you want. So you don't really want this to change too much. So I'm gonna copy the value here and now I only want it to fade out at the end. So just this section, so from here to here. So to add a point, you need to right click. But the reason I said to copy the value is because if I right click here, you can see that the volume's actually coming down over the full period of the song. So if I right click and then select paste value, you can see now it's a flat line. So now I've got these points to play with. So all I can do here is just drag this and then you could use the middle point to make it a steeper curve. So you can bring it up. Just as easy as that. So that's the basic way to automate. All right, so for these examples I'm gonna show you, we're gonna be using gross beat. So for the intro, I want to use some gross beat effects just before the hi-hats come in here. Just to make the intro a little bit more interesting. So what I had in mind was, I want it to start here. I want it to flip between these three. Now usually what people will do, and I've seen them do it in videos, is they'll come to one, They'll create an automation clip for this gross beat and then they'll load another one and select it on this one, create another automation clip and they'll have like three or four automation clips just to control that. So the easy way to do it is I'm going to actually right click here and select create automation clip. And what this does is the, the top ones are time values and the bottom ones are volume. So because I've created it there, I've got an automation clip for the volume controls. You can see there, volume slot gross beat. So now, if I right click here, this is the next tip. So because it's gradually coming up, I don't want any changes here. I just want it to suddenly hit this point. So I'm gonna right click on this point and select hold. And that just means that gross beat isn't gonna happen here. You can see it's on no value, but then when it gets to here, each point, if I drag this up, you can see the percentage up here is basically linked to one of these effects. But I wanted to start on this one, so I'm gonna right click. I'll click on it and then right click. And then I'm gonna copy value. And then if I paste that here, paste it, you can see it's the right one. So now I'm gonna do the same for these. So I'm gonna copy this value and I wanted that here, so I can just right click anywhere on that line, paste the value, and then the last one was this one. So I'm gonna right click, copy value. I wanted it here. And then this is also important. You can see with the automation clip, if I just left that, it's gonna be on this effect for the whole duration of the song then. So automation basically works from the last point. So if you don't bring it back down, it's gonna to continue to play that same automation. So if I right click here, I can bring this all the way down. Just make sure that this is set to hold again. And now you'll hear. So it's just little effects like that that can make your track interesting. And then you heard there that there was an echo on the snare. So I was only using that for demo purposes. So if I come to my snare, 
I'm going to show you a little trick with this. So I've got my delay set up, but I don't want that to happen on every snare. Maybe just one. So let's say you've got the delay set up how you want it. I'm going to right click here. Again, select create automation clip. And now I've got my delay. So I don't want the effect on throughout the whole song. So I'm going to drag this down. And let's say I just want it on this one snare here. I can right click here to add a point. Double check it's on hold mode, which it is. And let's say I want the delay to come off here. And you can see it's already brought. It's gradually coming up. So I can just bring this point down as well. So now if I play this, just this snare is going to have a delay. Alright, so the next one I'm going to show you is another way to automate gross beat using your keyboard. So you can use your MIDI keyboard or you can use the piano roll. So what I'm going to do is create a new automation pattern. It's just a blank pattern, named it automation. I'm going to drag that out. I'll just drag it out here for now. And then in the pattern, I'm going to add a fruity keyboard controller. Now in the keyboard controller, you can go to presets and you can select if you just want to use the white keys or the white and black keys. So I'm going to select white and black keys for the preset. And then I'm going to add, let's add a new gross beat. I'll get rid of this. And then same like before, I'm going to right click in the empty volume slot because I want to automate the volume effects in gross beat. And then I'm going to select link to controller in this bit here, it's automatically set to none, so I'm going to select gross beat, white and black, because that's what we selected before. And I want it for the note, not the velocity. I can accept that. And now what you'll see is if I come to the automation pattern, and if I send this to a piano roll by pressing F7 or right clicking and selecting piano roll, each note that I put in now is going to be linked to an effect in gross beat. So, C4 should be the empty one. And remember, I only wanted it towards the end of the pattern. And then I want it to drop back to nothing. So I think it should be D, D sharp. Oh, you can see when I select it. So C sharp, D, and D sharp. You can see it's highlighted there. And then it drops back down to nothing. You need it to drop back down because if I didn't, you'll see it's just going to play this half gate effect for the rest of it. It's not going to come off. So I'm just dropping it back down to C because C is linked to the empty slot. All right, so the next quick trick that I'm going to show you is just different things that you can use with automation. So I like to add a filter on my um, intros a lot of the time. So I've got this fruity filter here, and all I want to do is adjust the cutoff. So you can see how that sounds when I drag it down. So I'm going to right click this, again create automation clip, and now I've got the filter. I like to keep things neat, so I'll, if I'm filtering the sample, then I want this to be with the sample. So a quick way to do it is hold Shift and Alt, and then scroll this up. If you wanted to keep it real neat, you could right click and select Group with Above Track and do it for both of these, so you can just hide them later on. And I only want the filter for the intro, so what I'm gonna do is drag a point here, just right click, it's gonna come down, and then it's gonna come back up. So you can play around with the different curves. You know, you've got double curve. Just try different ones, but if you wanna keep it smooth, then just keep on smooth mode or single curve. Single curve will be quite basic. And you can select that one as single curve too. You could drag these points up. Let's just see how this sounds. And you can see the cut off frequency is moving with the uh, automation. So I want it a little bit smoother than that. So let's come to here, select it on smooth. Cool. Whoa. 
Perfect, so just have a play around with it, try different things. You can automate pretty much anything. Um, another quick tip is, let's say you wanted to use that same filter, uh, maybe before the chorus or something, before the hook. So I could select C, so I've got my slice tool, hold shift and drag just to cut straight. And now I can move this, you can treat it like a normal pattern, you can duplicate this, you can make it unique and then adjust the filter a little bit. So let's say I want to add a filter here. I can just cut that one out and bring this. I'm just holding shift and dragging by the way. And then I could either keep it the exact same as the intro or if I wanted to change it a little bit, instead of creating a new automation, I could just duplicate it like I've done. Select make unique. And then let's say I only want to filter a little bit. I could do this. And that just adds a little bit of variation throughout the song. So the other thing that people ask me is, can you only automate stop plugins? And the answer is no, you can automate anything. So let me show you how. So let's say for example, you wanted to automate a third party plugin. Let's just choose the EQ. So Fab Filter Pro Q3, it's just my go-to EQ. Let's say I want to automate this and have it like a filter and just sweep down and back up. If I right click this, there's no option to create automation clip. Like for example, if I was in the parametric EQ, I could right click here. And most of the stop plugins will have this create automation clip. So what we're going to use is this up here. This is the multi-link to controllers. So if I click this, you can see up there it says, please tweak the controls you want to link. So then you want to click on the control that you need to automate. So if I click here, you can see that it's registered it. So now I can right click and create automation clip. So now you can see I've got Fab Filter Pro Q3. It's the band one frequency. I can just drag that up here again. And same again, you can just add points and you can see as I move that, it's actually moving band one. So let's say for example, right here, you just wanted it to come down quick and then back up. Right. And same again, you could just copy that point paste it here just to make sure that the overall value doesn't change. Maybe here as well. Now you can see it's just a straight line and a dip. So like I said, it was just a quick video today. Quite a lot of people have messaged me and asked me to do an automation video. So I just wanted to show you some quick tips the techniques that I usually use, um, how you can get creative with it and use third party plugins too. There's so many different things you can do with automation, but I wanted to keep this video quite short and simple and easy to understand. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, then please like it and subscribe to the channel. And if you didn't already know, I've just dropped a free loop kit. So I've got two free loop kits now, and I've also dropped my first drum kit. So all the drums that you've heard in my previous tutorials, including this one, all those sounds are available now. Um, the link is in the description and I'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,